device is effective enough. Coming up next, we'll have unbeaten Joe Green. They call him Mean Joe Green. He is a fan favorite. Edson Aguirre, the opponent tonight here at the Roseland Ballroom in New York City. Larry Michael with Randy Gordon. Great to be with you tonight for Gotham Ringside Boxing. And if you haven't seen Joe Green fight, you're in for a real treat. And it might not last long knowing the way he fights. There was a guy back in the 70s out of Philadelphia, a middleweight who had one of the hardest left hooks, I think, of all time. His name was Eugene Cyclone Hart. Now, Eugene couldn't do much but punch, but that one hook is one of the hardest of all time. Mean Joe Green, I don't know that he hits that hard, but let me tell you, after you watch him tonight, you're gonna see what I mean. Both hands, uppercut, hooks, straight right hand. The man absolutely throws thunder and lightning. Aguirre, as you see, is 11 and 4, just two knockouts to his credit, has a draw, 28 years old, from Greensboro, North Carolina, by way of Mexico, moved to North Carolina in the year 2000. And he's the man who's going to have to take all those punches from the man coming into the ring now. And Aguirre has not fought in a year. Well, I hope he's been doing a lot of sparring, because I'm telling you, Joe Green comes out very, very quickly. He throws and he throws and he throws. Now, a few months ago, he was in a fight where he won a decision in the fight. And he was tested in that fight. Which he did not score a knockout. It was back in May on Long Island. He fought Derek Graham. And Joe Green won every second of the fight. And Graham had to be hurting after the fight in places that he never knew he had places. But Green did not knock him out. But started those first three rounds throwing more punches, I think, than I've ever seen a human throw. Take a look at the tail of the tape here tonight. Joe Green and Edson Aguirre. Just 20 years old from Jamaica, Queens, New York. And me, Joe Green, likes to punch. Just 20 years old. What a future he has. We are set. We hope you are as well. Let's get the fight started officially with Sandy Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the super middleweight division. Your judges are Mike Conforte, George Gabriel, and Robin Taylor. The chairman of the New York State Athletic Commission is with us this evening. He's Ron Scott Stevens. Your referee is Earl Brown, counting for the knockdowns, Randy Newman. Now, let's speak the principles. In the blue corner, this young man is wearing blue and white trunks. He weighed in at an even 162 pounds. His ring record, 11-4. One with two KOs all the way from Mexico City, Mexico. Edison Pile Aguile. And his opponent in the red corner. This young man is wearing black trunks. He weighed in at 162 and one half pounds. He has a perfect record. He's unbeaten with 12 victories. No defeats, nine KOs from Jamaica, Queens, New York City. Here's Joe Mean Green. Now referee Earl Brown will give final instructions. Instructions from referee Earl Brown. And Joe Green is wound up and ready to go. Uh, Gire has not uh, worked up much of a sweat, neither is Joe Green. Well, let's see if which man is all ready to go here. And Joe Green, as you say, Randy, likes to throw punches in bunches. And round one is getting set to begin. Here we go. I assure you this, Aguirre has never been hit with shots like he's about to get hit with. We're going to find out what kind of chin he has. Aguirre, 28 years old. Joe Green, 20 years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Aguirre just immediately holds on. I would like to see Aguirre go some rounds here. I'd like to see him test Joe Green, but I, I don't know. At this stage of the game, Green is just incredibly, incredibly, I think, almost unstoppable. Green trying to find a little room here. Geary with a good defensive posture with his elbows tucked in and hands held high. Good job by Geary. As soon as Green gets close, he gets tied up. Doesn't seem to be intimidated. The intimidation will come when he gets hit with his first hard shot. Right. down that really wasn't much of a punch kind of a thumping shot now, I don't think Aguirre is hurt kind of hit him behind the head behind the ear and put him down it was a right hook Green looks a lot tighter tonight than he does especially in the fight against Derek Raymond when I told you he came out and threw so many punches in the first three rounds. Yeah, Gary is right there for the left hook to be had. And Green just needs to let it go. Good body shot. Green beginning to get to work here. A lot of young. Hey! Left hand and down goes Aguirre. That's that left hand we were talking about right on the button. I don't think he's getting up. That's that one punch power I was telling you about. He gets up at the count of eight. How did he get up after hitting his head on that bottom ring strand right on the rope? Watch what kind of finisher. He's brutal. Works the body. Very few young guys like this. Will work the body. They're all headhunters. Gary hanging on right now, Randy. Green will rip your body up. Ow. Right hook to the body. Just misses that left hand. And a Gary will survive. On to round two. Wow. Well, somehow, a Gary survives. You know what kept him up? Ducks and God. Experience. Showed me a lot of guts to be able to hang in there for those final 40 seconds or so. Guts and guile. The two G's. <laughs> guts and guile. Well, Gary has to recover quickly before he heads out for round two. And that land hand, left hand landed right on the butt. We were talking over and over about that one punch power. Bang! It catches him on the right side of the cheek. Down he goes, hits the rope, and right underneath the rope he went. I was very surprised head. he got up because that was a perfect shot. Ooh. His head hit that bottom rope, and yes, it was a scary knockdown. Yeah. Man, let's see if he has recovered sufficiently. You know, Joe Green's going to come right after him again. They were telling Green in the corner. They were motioning, just step forward, keep walking him down. Green <laughs> now knows about that power. Let's see if he holds his hands back a little bit more. Now, so far, he's letting him go. Even risk going down to the body. And when you do, you leave yourself a little bit more open. I think that's a good move by Gary. Just try to put something offensive out to keep Joe Green off of him. It might just prolong the inevitable, but he's got to do something. Gary holding on right now. Doing a good job avoiding that left hand. Problem with fighting Green, even if you avoid his left hand, he got his right hand to contend. Oh, sweeping right hook. Low blow that time by Gary. The referee was screened. Couldn't see it. Oh, 
somehow again he is staying away from the power of Joe Green. They might catch up to him, but right now he's doing a pretty good job. Very good job. He came off the ropes and he got nailed with a shot that didn't have the full impact on him. Yeah, I'm waiting for one shot again to take to put a Geary down. There's a big left. Geary's hurt up against the ropes. Overhand right scores. And let's see if Joe Green can finish him. Geary, very game, hanging in there. Joe Green has. I believe suffered, if it wasn't a broken hand, maybe a dislocated hand in the past. And I think he's being a little bit more cautious now. Nice clubbing left hand by Joe Green. And when I say cautious, I mean he's picking his shots more. Right. Nice body shot by Green that time. Block those shots nice. Watch how he works. Green goes up and down. He works the body, he works the head, right down there to the body. Another body shot, a wicked right hook to the body. Another one. He keeps moving forward though, and he will make it out of round two. Kind of smothering the punching range of Joe Green. End of two rounds. Joe Green gets great leverage on all of his shots. So Gary trying to recover between rounds. Let's take a look. Watch how he bends his knees. He goes down. The knees will bend a little bit. And then he throws a very compact shots. A looping overhand left with that right hook. He digs it a lot to the body. He loves using that shot. There it is again, that right hook to the body. The very calm corner. Yep. Although I would like to see one voice rather than have two guys talking. Last time out for Joe Green, he won by TKO in the sixth round over Lewis Hodge. So he does carry the power into the later rounds. Green keeps those hands right by his jaw. Hard to get through Green's defense. And the fight that you talked about against Lewis Hodge took place at Madison Square Garden. It was on the undercard to John Duddy's sensational victory over Yuri Boyd Campus. And uh, it was an appetizer, the part of the undercard, and the crowd at the garden was really turned on watching Green in action. This fight is scheduled for eight rounds tonight. First round saw the only knockdown of the fight as Green dispatched a Gary to the canvas and we thought at the time that he wouldn't get up but somehow he got up and he continues to make it through the fight here into round three. He has really shown me a lot of heart. Because even the punches that aren't landing solid are still landing and they're landing very hard. He's punching back too which I think is bothering Green just a little bit. And this is what I like to see because you don't know what a guy's weaknesses are until you start seeing him in with guys who can take him the distance. Big shots that time by Green. Punch is beginning to accumulate on the head of a Gary. Slapping right hand scored by a Gary. Randy, when you're a big puncher like this, like Joe Green, do you run the risk of getting frustrated when the knockout doesn't come early? Well, as I saw in that Derek Green fight. Good body that. shot, but it came Green. to the back. Green. It came to the back of a Gary. I believe he turned into that shot. I don't believe that Green really threw that with any bad intentions, meaning to hit him there. Hit him right in the kidney. 
And if he turned into him, I guess it, it's a legal shot. Roy Jones once knocked out Virgil Hill with a right hand to the body right after Virgil Hill had And a low blow up. and a low blow in retaliation by a Gary. That's okay. It's not okay if you're green. <laughs> no, I mean, on the part of a Gary, he knew what he had to do there. He's down for the second time in this fight. He won't get up from this one. At the count of seven, he gets he up. He did get up. See? And he is going to make it through the third round. Talk about showing a lot of heart, no doubt about it. Aguirre is double tough. Oh, my goodness. He really is tough. He fooled you. I thought he was just saying, you know what? I've gotten hit hard. I've gotten hit often. I don't need any more of this. It's not that I thought he was out. I thought he was just basically not quitting. Right, but right. saying, I know when I've had enough. The accumulation of punches, and he looked like he was spent, basically. Uh, he went down with the body shot to the back. Now, let's see. Well, this is this this is a bad shot there. Because oh, you know what? He's, he, he, he's not supposed to punch him in the back like that. He Right where you see his hand, he's claiming he got hit there. He did not get hit there. He got hit just uh, almost under the armpit, just a little bit beyond the armpit. That wasn't the most blatant foul I've ever seen at all. Coming up later, it's our main event. David Two of the Terminator in the ring, taking on Maurice Wheeler. That's still to come tonight here from New York City. Green was actually aiming that shot at the side. I disagree. I, I think he, he saw the, the open spot and he, he took a shot at it. And I say that because I've seen so much of him, and he's had opportunities to hit guys. He's been in front of guys when they dropped to the knee in front of him, and he has held back. I do not know him to be a dirty fighter. Let's see if Aguirre has recovered, almost getting knocked out in the previous round. Well, that shot was deflected low. It was deflected low. And the referee warning Joe Green. Hung in beautifully, considering he's been battered in this fight. Been down three times. Oh, look at that right hook again to the back. Green is committed to that right hook. Gary's got to get off the ropes. If he stays on the ropes, it could be finished right there. But he does get off the ropes, and he tries to use this real estate and get in this 22-foot ring and keep moving. Now Aguirre has Green up against the rope, surprisingly enough. I like to see this because you start seeing things that Green has to work on. Big left hand by Green. Tags Aguirre. right hand nice combination there by Joe Green but you see everything he's throwing still have bad intentions on him nothing is soft I mean it, it's, it's one-sided but this is a tough opponent for Joe Green another left hand scores we just got straight at ringside straight oh. left hand right down the middle and Aguirre goes down again. I'm not going to say he's not going to get up. This is a tough human. He's down for the fourth time in this fight, and he's getting up again. <laughs> well, he is getting the respect from the fans here yeah. in the Roseland Ballroom. New York fans love their boxing, and they respect the guy with guts. This guy has guts. Keeps getting up, and he's firing back right now. How about that? the corner of a Gary he he is hurting right now 
You know what's going to be his best friend tonight and tomorrow? What's that? Something called ice. Ice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only place he's not going to have to put ice is on what his What is the discussion in the corner of the Gary? Let's take another look. I'm wondering if he's going to continue anymore. Look at that shot right on the chin. At that time, I wasn't going to say he's not getting up, and he did get up again. Let's see if he it comes out. It looks like he is out cold, but he got up at the count of seven. Look at that. I mean, you'd have to guess he's not getting up. Right. Boom, he jumps right up again. And this guy's got nine lives. And Joe Green cannot afford to get frustrated. He's got to keep on doing what he's doing. He's got an opponent that won't stay down. Gary has been down in the first round, twice in the third round, again in the fourth round. And he just had a nice jab right on the mouth. Oh, again, that was a straight left. Him. Now he stood up under that. The rope actually held him up. And now he's trying to turn it around on Joe Green, but Green covering up nicely. No place to punch right now as Green has his guard up. Well, what's it going to take to put Gary out? There's that left hand again. Beautiful left hand by Joe Green and a body shot. Oh. And a Gary goes down. This might be it, but we shouldn't say that because he's up after the fifth knockdown of this fight. I am just amazed. That is the fifth knockdown of the fight. What guts. He and wants he to continue. Most guys would be shaking their head no. Well. And you couldn't blame him. Right now, Joe Green wants to finish it. He's put his opponent down five times. Another left hand by Green, and another. Gary taking a lot of punishment right now. But he moves away. He's got great recuperative powers. I think he's just out, just about out of those recuperative powers. He is taking a fearsome beating. that straight left hand again and he comes back with a jab from the southpaw stance. You can hear Green grunting every time he steps in. He might need a body shot to take him out Randy because this guy just seems to be able to take every shot. He's down again for the sixth time in this fight. Shaking his head. This could be it. I guess not. This corner wants to come in and stop it, and now the referee stops it. He wants to go on. It's unbelievable. And that's going to do it. And Joe Green keeps his record perfect at 13-0 now. His 10th win by way of knockout, and this one took some work. I lost count. I think there were six knockouts. Quite a performance by Joe Green. A good hard night's work for him. And for a young guy like that, 20 years of age, this is a great learning experience fight against a guy that's very tough. And that may be the understatement that I've heard in a long time. Very tough, yeah. very tough, and very tough. Let's take a look again at straight shot down the middle rocking a Gary up against the ropes oh look at that left uppercut that just Beautiful. snapped the head up every shot that a Gary got hit with was a power shot Joe Green victorious here running his record to 13 and 0 and he's none the worse for wear I believe there were six knockdowns in the fight. Let's take a look at some of that action from round number five. 
Some power shots. That one got through. Then that straight left hand got through again. And he's shaking his head, but somehow he got up again. First knockdown came in round one. And Gary, you can see the corner, and the referee finally calls a halt to this one. The stopping the punishment, and a good stoppage. The chairman of the New York State Athletic Commission, Ron Scott Stevens, was doing a nice job because he was controlling everybody at ringside who really wanted to stop it. And he said, no, 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 let the referee do the job. But finally, when the corner came, came up in the ring, that's an automatic stoppage right there. They wanted the fight stopped. They didn't want to see their brave fighter take any more. Let's get the time of the knockout from Sandy Reddick. Ladies and gentlemen, referee stopped the fight by a TKO in 2.30 of the fifth round. The winner and still unbeaten is Joe Mean Green. Let's hear it for a very, very courageous fighter from Mexico City, Pile Aguile. Very courageous.